And thanks for joining us. A shift in population across Lafayette Parish is raising questions about the future of the City Parish Council. According to the U.S. Census Bureau estimates, population in the southern part of the parish is growing while the city of Lafayette is lagging behind. Three is on the street. Danielle Garcia live at Lafayette Consolidated Government with more on the numbers and what they mean for the parish. Danielle. Marcel, census estimates say Youngsville and Broussard gained about 500 residents between 2016 and 2017. During that same time, Lafayette lost an estimated 600 residents, and that could bring some changes to the Lafayette City Parish Council. Here at Lafayette City Hall, officials dispute the U.S. Census Bureau estimates. They say Lafayette has grown in population not shrunk. Well, I think that we actually have some figures. We work annually with the treasurer's office and do annual updates. And so our population figures with the treasurer's office say that Lafayette's actually in the 130, 132,000 people range. Council district lines will be redrawn regardless of the census results. If the Census Bureau's estimates are correct, control of the council could shift from the city of Lafayette to the rest of the parish. We'll be doing nine districts because there's nine seats on it. And what they may find that instead of five districts uh, consisting of the city of Lafayette population, it may actually be four. And you may actually have five that have more non-city of Lafayette residents than you do the others. That possible shift raises another issue, minority representation. Because of the Voting Rights Act, that will be a priority for LCG when redrawing district lines. First order of business is to make sure we, to the extent we can, keep the two majority minority African American districts uh, viable. We've historically have had two districts, so if we can't create two districts, then we have to be able to justify uh, why we can't. But officials believe they won't be seeing any major changes just yet. I'm, I'm real skeptical of census estimates. I really feel like we're not going to vary a whole lot when it actually comes down to the counts between city of Lafayette population versus the rest of the parish. The way our government is, is currently organized, you know, you do have to, the council will, you know, redistrict according to a lot of different factors. Um, and, you know, we project, I think that, you know, the city will still, for the short term, have a majority population. So I imagine you'll see that in the council districts as well. And Youngsville and Broussard are among the five fastest growing cities in the state. And officials from those cities tell say these numbers, the rising numbers, come at no surprise to them. And Youngsville Mayor Ken Ritter tells me that this estimate just goes to show that Lafayette Consolidated Government needs to be reviewed. But again, these estimates are just estimates until the census is done in 2020. Threes on the street in Lafayette, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3.